Welcome to the Mobile Packet Sniffer application demonstration. This demonstration will present the basic features of the app. During this demonstration, we will use the basic setup where the sniffer is connected directly to the Wi-Fi access point. Now let's open the application. This is the main menu of the Packet Sniffer. The basic set of features allows us to perform Wi-Fi and Bluetooth sniffing. So let's inspect the Wi-Fi sniffer first. First of all, using the settings in the menu bar, let's pick the storage place of the packets we're about to capture. In this case, we'll place our packets in the SQL database. Now let's activate the Wi-Fi capture service. This service will keep running even if we will close the application. This way we can continue using our phone and still capture packets to the database. The service can be easily deactivated by pressing the Stop Capture Service button. Now let's push the Live Traffic button to see captured traffic in real time. To generate some traffic, let's ping our device from a neighboring host. As we can see clearly, we have received an ICMP packet. Now let's stop the capture service, go back to the main menu, and inspect the statistic analysis menu. This menu actually allows us to see the database where our captured data is stored. So let's see all the database. And as we can see here, there are our ICMP packets we've captured. Let's go back to the main menu and inspect the Statistic Advanced menu. This menu actually allows us to perform uh, filtering of the database according to the packets we want to see. Suppose we want to see only ICMP packets, so we we'll press the Confirm button, and here are only ICMP packets. The next service supplied by this application is the Bluetooth Sniffer service. This service is actually uh, the same as the Wi-Fi sniffer. 